Oh, hello, Lily. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, and you? How are you doing? Great, thank oh, you. Oh, very, very hot, because it's very hot in Paris, actually, but very good and so happy. Thank you for having me today yes. for this live, and especially because we're talking about primers and skin perfectors, because this is the question that everybody wants to know. How do we have to use our primers or our skin perfectors? Which one is the best for Exactly, because skin so textures. many references, so many products, uh, even into the class, you know, make a branch. Yeah. So we're going to share all our secrets with you. So, but before, I'd like to introduce myself and to introduce you. So first, you are Ludivine Aubourg. We are so proud and so lucky to have you because you are a, a beauty expert a photographer and it's very interesting when it comes to makeup and you are a TV host too. Yeah. And thank you very much, Ludivine. Thank you And I am Eric Antoniotti, the International Artistic and Makeup Training Director. And we're going to share all our secrets about, you know, as you've told us before, the primers versus uh, the skin perfectors. In your opinion, Ludivine, Ludivine, okay, what is a primer for and what, what it is exactly for you? First of all, I have to say that not to prime is a crime. You have to <laughs> prime before to apply your makeup because I think it's, it's like, it's the base. Like you cannot uh, build a house without the, the base. So you have, if you want to build a good makeup and if you want it to, to, to hold the, the whole day long and until the night, the primer is, you, can, you, you cannot do your makeup without a primer and especially for hydration, which is, I think, the first exactly. thing and m the most important thing that you have to do before to do your makeup. You have to moisturize your skin. You totally right to live in. Not to prime is a crime. Yeah. So there's two kinds of primers. Okay, you have a primer. So the first primer that is absolutely uh, uh, necessary for to maintain your skin condition is definitely your skincare product for before you need to use the right skincare product uh, the right skincare day cream or a night cream it depends uh, according to your skin condition your skin type otherwise your makeup will never look perfect and will never last uh, for the old day second primer it's a in between skincare and makeup and uh, those primers, you know, are some, okay, are going to minimize, you know, some skin imperfections that we don't want to see, like uh, small lines, like <laughs> open pores, shininess, extra shine on the face. And others, you know, are more to correct the skin complexion, uh, is more to reflect even more the light, to give you extra radiance and luminosity to make disappear tiredness or redness or pigmentations, all the small things that you don't want to see. Plus, it's going to make the application of your makeup easier. So all you know, the different textures, so the beauty perfectors that you are going to apply after or your foundation are going to glide on and to blend onto the skin instantly. And you are going to fix this makeup for the whole day. That's the purpose of using a primer. So, we have several primers in Clarence, and we're going to start by one which is the, the, one of the most popular, which is called Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. The famous Instant Smooth, so I'm sure you have it, because I... I, I, I have them all. You. I have them all. Which color You have them all. <laughs> so, we're going to start with the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch, the small red jar which is a miracle. This is the perfect primer for those who want to make disappear instantly. Do you know the fine lines that we have here? I have them on the eye. I have them here. <laughs> sometimes a little bit on the forehead, sometimes yes. a little bit you know, on that around the mouth area here. Okay, so I have, you know, a secret. So first you need to use a very tiny amount. In my opinion, I don't like to apply, you know, those primers with my fingers. I don't know why. This is a fact. That's it. But I love applying, okay, the instant smooth perfecting touch, touch with the blender, the blending brush. Usually this type of brush is used to blend your eyeshadow. But I like to take the instant smooth directly with my brush. And you just really apply it, blend it where you need to apply on the eye corner to make disappear the fine lines you don't want to see anymore, on the forehead, around the mouth. So the application is very quick. 
very precise. Can you see it blends instantly with that yeah. brush? You can use your finger if you like your finger. No, use your finger. that's the best tip ever. Thank you for this. Okay, in my opinion, this is so you take it directly from the jar yeah. and you just apply it where it's needed. It blends instantly, instantly thanks to the Akasha Pearl because you know that all Clarins makeup products are made for skin. They are all formulated just like skincare products infused with plants. And we're using some plant extract like the acacia, acacia gum, which is going to make disappear the lines and the wrinkles that you want to see. Can you see how quick it blends instantly where you, you, you want to really make your skin look smoother? It's magic. Okay, first primer, guys. So we're going to show you different primers. It doesn't mean that you have to use all of them uh, when you're doing your makeup, you know, just pick the one you feel more uh, close to the one that you need. Looking for it, making disappearing fine lines. Okay, instant smooth perfecting touch. Now, you want to close up your pores. You, you don't like, you know, uh, to see that you have a little bit of open pores or extra shine because you're producing a little bit more sebum during the day. So we have the second primer, which is the instant poreless. Instant poreless comes in a beautiful red tube with a white cap. It's a Looking tube. For it. <laughs> Show it to me. Do you have it? it? I don't have it with me right now uh, at the corner. It's a tube, just like a small tube, red tube, instant poreless. No, I don't have it. Oh, you don't have this one? No, no. No problem at but all. But I have so many of them. Look. <laughs> oh, yes, of course you have, you know, the SOS primer, all yes. shades. Okay, the Instant Poreless, okay? Just listen to the, the name of that product. I love this one because the texture is even lighter compared to the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch, the previous one that you've just applied, we did in. So, and it's going to give you the instant mattifying finish that you're looking for. So you're going to get rid of any shine. Oh, this is the one. Yeah. <laughs> instant Poreless. Just yeah. use a very tiny amount on the top of your hands and once again, you can use, you know, the same brush. The same brush, okay. And once again, you apply it where, you know, you have a little bit of open pores and where you have a little bit of extra shine. So most I of do. the time, it's on the T-zone. Yes. On the side here. of the nose. Yeah, exactly here. On the side of the nose. Sometimes it could be a little bit on the nose. Okay, the objective of this primer is to reduce the appearance of open pores and mattifying the complexion. And it's going at the same time to slow down the sebum production. Very tiny amount, right at the application, you know, it blends. It, I it, love it, the smell. Oh my God. The I instant... love the smell. Ah, great. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Oh, it has to be, you know, pleasant to use and pleasant to wear for sure. But look at the mattifying action right wow. at the application. Yeah, it's crazy. You get rid of any shine instantly. You close up the pores, so it makes the pores look closed, definitely instantly. And it's perfect makeup base. So once again, those two primers can be used locally. Yeah, I cannot use this one on, on, on my whole face. I hope you're not going, you don't, do not have open pores everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yes, I hope the, so. The texture so is it's really so amazing. Local. It's I want really to locally. Sorry. Very tiny amount, so you can yeah. see that instantly the skin looks smoother and, and matte. Okay. Now we're going to, those are two special ones that can be used locally. Uh, there's another one that we have we can use locally. It belongs to the range SOS primers. Yeah. They are SOS products to be used before your makeup. For example, mm -hmm. Ludivine, because we had a chat before. And I know that, you know, once in a while you want to get rid, you have beautiful skin, but it's sensitive skin. Yes. So what does happen to you, you know, once in a while? Redness. Yes, exactly. Tons of redness. So many, so many, you know, women, you know, the young ones or the more mature ones, uh, we tend to have, you know, more and more sensitive skin. Yeah. And because of the, 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 the temperature difference between the indoor and outdoor with the air conditioning, we can uh, definitely get, you know, that redness that we, yeah. we don't really like. In that yeah, case... Yeah, look at my nose. <laughs> it's all uh, red. <laughs> okay, do not worry, Ludivine. We have the right SOS primer for you. 
which is the SOS primer green. Can you show us? Yes, yes I think it's I the number. It. If I remember well, it, well, uh, well, it's the number the number four. Yes, it is. Yes. That's okay, the, the number four. So green, uh, the green one, because the green is the comp complementary color of red. So when you apply a little bit of green light reflectors and correctors on a redness, you make disappear the redness instantly. And this is what you are going to do right now, Lidivine. Yeah. Once again, very tiny amount. Again, with your hands or with my famous, you know, blending brush, up to you. You can apply it locally and instantly because it does contain some a color corrector, green color corrector, and color reflectors. It's going to make disappear instantly any redness. It's going to enhance, to boost the radiance and luminosity of your skin. It's going to provide you maximum hydration for 24 hours. Thank again to the sea lily extract. So the sea lily extract is an amazing moisturizer. So as you can see, you know, Clarins makeup products and Clarins primers are not just primers, but much more than primers. They are really treating your skin at the same time to slow down the sebaceous secretion, to slow down, okay, the oiliness, to reduce the oiliness, uh, to close the pores, to moisturize your skin. But at the same time, thanks to the color side of Clarins Makeup, we're going to correct the skin discoloration or coloration that we can get according to different uh, conditions. Look at that, guys. What do you think about this primer? Once again, you can see that you need a very, very tiny amount. There's no need to apply too much. We don't yeah. want you to look green. And you can see that a green primer doesn't make you look green at all. Look there's, at the green on the hand. A lot of products on my on my hand, like I used a very, very small amount. Very small amount. Yeah. This is what makes Laurent's makeup so different. Uh, when you use different types of makeup, different brands, different category of makeup, I can see a lot of makeup artists or influencers or a woman's using a huge amount of product. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Save your money, save your time. Uh, as long as you're using the right makeup product, you need just a tiny amount. Make sure you don't forget that because this is the secret for perfect makeup. Okay, you cannot stop using, you know, my oh, I love it. SOS primer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I have witness all around my face. So uh, no, no, I think I'm good. No, I think it's perfect now that there's no yeah. redness anymore. No. So, after that, you know, into that branch of the SRS primers, of course, we have the green one for the redness, but we have the universal one, which is the double zero, which is white. The one, yeah. The which is, with, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The first one with, you know, the objective of this one is really to give you that glow that you are looking for. So if you are looking for extra glow and luminosity, this is the one that you can use uh, either locally or the high cheekbone, or you can apply it a very tiny amount again all over the face before applying your uh, foundation or your skin perfecta. I do Once... prefer. I really prefer to use it on on with a small amount on specific areas of than course, all around my face. Look of course, yes. <laughs> but the, but the secret is really the amount. If you use too much, of course, it's going to look too much. You don't want to look like a crystal ball. No, you just <laughs> want to add extra radiance and luminosity. So you have the universal one. So now if you are a little bit tired and your skin looks a little bit gray, you know, sometimes when you're a little bit tired, you need that touch of freshness. So that's the re reason why you have the number one, which is a pink version. And the pink version with pink color correctors and reflectors, yes, is going to give you back the freshness, the luminosity that you're looking for when you look a little bit tired. What's the, what's the difference between the rose one and the peach one? Okay, so the pink one, the rose one, is really when you look a little bit tired, a little bit dull, okay. a little bit gray. So you need a booster and the pink shade is going to boost your the healthy 
aspect of your skin. Okay. So the number three, the number three, which is the peach, is really to make disappear all the, the small skin imperfection that you can oh, have. Sometimes okay. a bit of a small pimple here, a, a small pigmentation there. You know, very small imperfection that you want to make disappear. You know that that shade, Ludivin, is the ideal shade for men. Really? Because the shade, yeah, because the shade number three does not contain any um, glitter, any uh, uh, shine. So okay. it looks quite matte and very natural. So the, okay. it's even excellent for men. When we look a little bit tired, we need a boost of radiance, luminosity, and to make disappear a small skin imperfection, it works amazingly well. And it looks matte. It doesn't look iridescent. I was just wondering, because as, as you know, my skin is like a gold to olive, especially in summer. So when I'm using pink products, uh, sometimes I look gray. That's why I would automatically prefer uh, this kind of color. This You're kind right. of peach or golden or something You're like right. that, you know? You're totally right, you know, Ludivin. As long as you have, you know, these beautiful golden, you know, skin tones, uh, or neutral skin tones, okay, you can go directly to the number three, the peach. Okay. Because it does definitely adapt to all different skin tones, okay, from a very fair complexion to a more tan complexion just like mine. And it does wonders on your skin. So you don't need to go for a pink or a white. Go for the peach one. It's, in my opinion, even the, the, the double zero, you know, we call it, you know, universal. I think the number three, the peach, is even more universal. Okay, yeah. I so guys, according to your skin condition, according to your concerns, you are going to select either the green SOS primer for red, the SOS primer for redness, or you're going to use the peach because you want to keep that beautiful, you know, uh, a peach skin tone that you already have and you look a little bit grayish or a little bit, you know, the olive skin, skin tone and you want to get rid of that. Or if you just look for extra radiance, luminosity, and glow, glow, it's going to be the double zero. The white one. The white right one. Okay, Ludivine? Yes. So Thank now you. it's not enough because you know that Clarence, we are just creating products according to women's concerns. And one of the biggest concerns in the world at the moment is really sun protection. Yeah. And you know, guys, and Ludivine, uh, Clarence, with Clarence, we don't want in all our new generation of foundation, we don't want to add any SPF into the foundation formulation. So why? Because first, when you add a SPF into a foundation formula, you are going to, uh, you're not going to achieve to have, uh, to create a pure color. It's going to make your, to turn gray a little bit, the color of your foundation. So we don't like that at all. Secondly, when you refer to gray fairly divine, so you know better than me yeah. that when you are using a foundation with an SPF, it doesn't work for photos. No. It doesn't work, you know, it does reflect, you know, the light too much. It's too shiny, a little bit gray. Of course, okay. yeah, you can absolutely, you can see on the picture a kind of... Um, uh, a vein. Yeah. Like yeah, a vein. Yeah, yeah a, a, a white one. Yeah, exactly. A, 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 Almost gray sometimes. So yeah, 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 yeah. Totally right. Not, it, it doesn't so, beat, no. Exactly. So second point. And the third point, you know, into a foundation, a SPF, you know, 15 uh, or 10, it's not enough. So we want to propose to all women a good protection, a good set protection for their face. So that's the reason why we did create a new primer, which is the SOS primer UV 30, yes, this one. So you, you have all the benefit of the primer, so the radiance, luminosity, like correcting, like reflecting, super moisturizing because of the white lily extract, plus the protection SPF 30, which is good enough to protect your skin against the sun during the day in a CT exposure. I'm not talking about the beach, of course, it's something different. And that's the reason why we did use this one. So this one, of course, you can use it all over the face. Once again, very tiny amount. It doesn't make your skin look too white or too sticky or too oily. It blends once again instantly onto your skin. Of course, it's going to brighten your complexion, give, add you know, this radiance, luminosity, and the glow that you're looking for. But you have your 
perfect protection for daily uh, use. SPA 30. The texture is crazy. It's like hydrating, not too rich, and uh, there's no no color at all, but just a natural glow, as you can see it on and my did, on my hand. Did you notice that it's not sticky at all? Because it's most of the time the all. SPF no, no. are a bit thick and sticky. Yeah. Uh, and this is what we wanted to offer to all women who really want and need that face protection yeah. during the day. Right. So now that you have used your skincare product and then the primer, the primer that is absolutely you know, needed when you want to achieve this perfect makeup in a very quick and easy way and the long lasting makeup, this is time to select the next product for your complexion. And the next product could be either what we're calling a skin perfecter or a foundation. So what is the difference between a skin perfecter and a foundation? A skin perfecta is a product that is definitely extremely lightweight, very lightweight texture with, with a minimum of pigments. So they do contain much less pigments compared to a foundation. The role of a foundation is to provide a good coverage. Could be a natural coverage, a medium coverage or a high coverage. A skin perfecta the role is really to even the complexion and brighten the complexion in a very lightweight texture. And you will never see that you're wearing a makeup product. There's no texture effect at all. That is the reason why during summertime, most of the women are using this type of products, uh, what we're calling the skin perfectors instead of a foundation. Of course, you can use a foundation during summertime. This, if this is what you are looking for, you look for coverage. So Ludivine, we have two today yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. We have the first skin perfecta is the, is the Milky Boost. Yeah, the one you I made me discover. The Milky the Milky I love Boost. it. I love Milky it. Boost, you know, it looks like you know, this small bottle of milk. Yeah. Yes, this one. I love this one. You are looking for the glow, very lightweight second skin effect, uh, an, amazing, uh, an amazing feeling right at application, a beautiful fragrance, the peach fragrance, and a skincare benefit at, at the same time. It does contain uh, milk from the peach, which is going to give you all the moisture and the nourishing uh, effect of the plant. And you have, on the second hand, the second product, which is Milky Cream. Milky Cream is a brand new generation of BBCC cream. <clears throat> okay, it's up to you because it's definitely a, a, a five product in one. And as long as you, are, you need a more creamy texture because your skin is a bit more dry, a little bit more dehydrated, and then you like comfortable texture because it's really like a tinted cream. Okay, so it's a little bit richer. So once again, according to your skin condition and your texture preference, you're going to select either the milk, either the cream. I guess, I guess the milk is the best one for me now because we are in summer. But uh, the, the cream is probably better for in winter because I have a very dry to combination skin and uh, I feel like I, I have to do a completely different... Um, um, complexion, hydration, and moisturize. I have to moisturize differently my skin in, in winter. And I really I bet that next winter, I will, I will wear the Milky Boost cream every day. But for now, it's a little bit too rich for me, a little bit too oily. Of course. And I love the finish, the finishing, finishing, how you, how you say it? Yeah, the finish, yeah. The finish of the Milky Boost, because it's almost, I don't know how to say it, it makes my, my skin matte. Like, of, yeah, and it's, it, it's just like wearing nothing. Yes, exactly. That, that's crazy. I really and you love did, it. You, you know, uh, Ludivine, you did mention something very important. Uh, we, we don't have to use the same product and the same texture of, you know, your skin perfecter or foundation, you know, all year round and all year round the same. For example, you know, yesterday, you know, I've met a friend of mine. She, she just gave birth. Okay. So her skin, which was beautiful during her pregnancy, just right after giving birth, you know, her skin 
tends to become more sensitive, more dry, dehydrated. And she was used to use, you know, the Milky Boost, yeah. which is not enough anymore for her skin condition. And she's using right now, even during summertime, the Milky Cream. Yeah, so okay. once again, guys, always adapt your makeup product even and your skincare product and makeup product according to your skin condition. It's not because you used for three months, you know, one texture that you cannot switch to another one according to your skin condition. So let's go, Ludivine, for okay. the Milky Can Boots. Can I apply the Milky Boots? Yeah, okay. How exactly. do you apply so the Milky it? Do you, do you apply, I like to apply it with my fingers, but... Would of you... course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, love, I love using, yes, the fingers. It's definitely, once again, it's up to you. As long as you feel confident in your application, could be with fingers, could be with a blender, could be with a foundation brush. So As what I love see, is, is that it looks it, like a milk. It's yeah, white. It looks like a milk. It, it, yeah. It's absolutely white or kind of gray so white when you when which you. Which shade do are you are you using? A five. A five. five. The number five. So yeah. guys, you have to know that it does come in five different shades according to your skin tone and according to uh, the effect and the finish that you're looking for. You want to enhance your tan your your very your beautiful sun kiss look you can go for the shade number five or the shade number six if you have a very fair complexion you have the number one or the number two okay so once again select the right shade according to oh look at that so you can see it's white and in the application yeah i love this it's magic it turns into your skin tone the skin tone and you can see that it's a very the number five it's a beautiful, natural, warm tone that blends very easily onto your skin. What do you think, you know, of the application right after applying a little bit of, you know, the SO, the primers that we have used before? It's perfect because the, the green primer makes me a little bit, uh, not white, not gray, but it's not really my tone. And of then, course, it's correcting the redness. Yeah, so that's the reason. That's the reason why it's a primer. Yeah, and and then when I when I apply the Milky Boost, then I find my tone back. You know, like it's it's matching uh, the rest of my of my skin, and uh, I love it. I di I didn't took I didn't take enough product. Sorry. Yeah, take a little bit more, and as you I can see, this. you know, Ludivine, <laughs> she's using you know lights. Okay sweeping movement without tightening the skin. And what you can do at the end, or if you need a little bit more, you know, coverage, it's not coverage because it's so translucent, uh, you just pat, you can just pat with your whole hand. You just pat this way and it does wonders, really. How does it feel on your skin? Can you feel the, the, the treatment benefit of the product? Yes, I feel, I feel like it's moisturizing my skin. And in the same time, uh, I f it's very, very light. I don't feel like a huge, you know, foundation. And then when I touch my skin, it's smooth like a peach. It smells like the peach. It's the milk from the peach and it, it's so smooth. Exactly. And once again, the skin is not sticky which yeah. is very important. I don't like when some women are using a lot of makeup and you just want to say hello, you give a kiss and it's <gasps> sticky. Uh. It's not pleasant at all. So, and most of the women, they don't like that anymore. So, that. you know, Ludivine, they're saying that this is, this is the perfect color now for you. Yeah. I'm perfect using the shade, the shade number uh, four. Is there four? Uh, number in, five. In winter. No, in winter, ah. I'm using another... In okay, winter, I'm could... using another another shade, but now that I'm tanned, tanned, you, you, tanned, 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 tanned yeah. uh, I, I do prefer the, the number five. The number and... five. You know, guys, because both, okay, Ludivine and I were French, and we love to get that beautiful sun kiss look. <laughs> of <laughs> course, you know, in many parts of the world, like, you know, for example, in Asia, or it could be Middle East, okay, women, they want to keep their beautiful, fair, a porcelain complexion. So of course you can use a lighter shade. As I told you, you have the number one, which is for very fair complexion, till the number five or six for a more warm skin tone, a sun kiss effect. Look at that. So That's even, amazing. radiant, bright complexion, very luminous, 
and it looks like your skin. It does not look like makeup. Even from very close, you cannot see any any makeup. Yeah, Milky Boost is the best of me. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best me. <laughs> good, good, excellent. So now, after applying, you know, this uh, skin perfecter, okay, because this is a skin perfecter. Which is more than enough for summertime, and you can see why. And I hope that you understand why we did apply first a primer, the one that you are more close to, the one that is uh, definitely the best one according to your skin condition and your skin concerns, and then the skin perfecta instead of using a foundation. It doesn't mean that you know for nighttime. If you go to a disco or whatever, you're looking for long-lasting non-transfer foundation, and you can go for an everlasting foundation with a higher coverage. But every day, this is, I think, the right combination: a primer, the right one, and a skin perfecta. So you love it. I can. I'm just looking if we have questions, Ludivine, because yeah, of course. Can you talk about double serum? It is good for dry skin, but of course, my darling. Before applying your primer or your makeup or your skin perfecta, you absolutely need to use your skincare products. So it could be your double serum, of course. Double serum is excellent. I'm using double serum. I have very dry skin. I love it. You know, and I don't use double double serum. I drink it really. So no, don't do that. <laughs> don't drink the double serum. I me, I me. I you I love the double serum, especially when you have dehydrated skin or dry skin. This is a dream. So go for it. So I just wanted to answer to that question, and I think okay, this is all. So now, Ludivine, you are ready. Ivor, you're very happy with that. Yeah. Ivor, you know you want to sculpt a little bit the features. You can go and use your sun bronzer, your bronzer, your sun powder, or your brush. And of course, you have. You're very lucky to get all those amazing products with you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I always have them with me. This is the sun powder from the Frozen Summer Collection. Yes. Clarins Summer Collection Frozen. And once again, Love the packaging. just before applying on your face, you know, Ludivine, yeah. can you touch the texture, the powder with your fingers and it's, feel the texture? Tell me, what do you think? So, about it's so thin, like I can even not feel it. I feel like I'm not taking any products on my finger when I touch it. You know, it's so smooth and so thin. That's crazy. There's no, you know, I cannot see the, the, the powder. It's crazy. Of course, you know, this powder is enriched with coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Once again, so this powder is going to maintain the hydration of your, your skin. It's never going to dehydrate your skin. So, so important for Clarence, so important for me, so important for all women. So that's the reason why, you know, that powder doesn't look like powder anymore, blends onto your skin. You get the result of a sun powder, of a bronzer, without having, you know, this powdery and dry finish. So, Ludivine, explain to us, because you, you are a special, you are uh, an expert in makeup. Yeah. And you can see that where there's three different shades here. So, yes. why are you using just the darkest shades? No, I'm using this one first ah, because it's this one. Okay, because go ahead. It's, it's the coldest one. Yeah. And when you want to sculpt or contour your your to your, contour your the face, features, when you yeah. want to contour your face, it's better to use the the um, the colder color. This one is a little bit is is a little bit um, uh, warm, and I'm going to use it at the end as a bronzer. But I'm first. Uh. Using this one uh, for the contouring. Exactly. So when you are a little bit more tan, you can use a darker shade, of course. Yeah. Once again, you just adapt. You just adjust according to your skin tone. I have another question from Claudia. She's using super restorative treatment essence as a serum before moisturizer. Is it okay? Of course, it's okay. You know, the, 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 you know, the essence has to be used right after cleansing your skin. But now, if you really look for an anti-aging, you know, benefit, you can go for the double serum or the super restorative serum instead of the essence. Normally, you know, you cleanse your face, you, you cleanse your face, yes, you apply your essence, 
and then you apply your skincare product, so your serum and day cream. So if you want a perfect anti-aging you know, benefit, I suggest you to still use the essence. The essence is really to revive, is really to prepare your skin of receiving uh, all the treatment. And then after the essence, you can go for your super restorative serum or super restorative or double serum and your super restorative cream. And do not forget your primer before your makeup. It's, a, it's very nice. It's very okay. natu natural, you know, it looks like <coughs> I just contoured my, my face, but not so much. And then with the darker shade, I'm just adding some warm color, you know, on my cheeks first. Exactly. You use, you know, the bronzer as, you know, a blusher. Instantly, you just pop up your complexion. Pop up. You can lift a little bit when, when applying your blush this way. Always. I like to do that to just blend it upwards once again to sculpt your features, to contour the features, and to lift the features. Isn't it easy to apply and blend? Because some bronzers really? are very dry, so very difficult to blend. No, no. I feel, I, I feel like it's not that dry. And um, it's not like, you know, it's not that um, uh, intense. Because when a blush is too intense, you can you can have accidents while applying it, and <laughs> I feel like I can use it. I'm I'm, I'm safe. Nothing is gonna happen. And the more I want blush, the more I have to put on my face. Exactly. And that's it. And but but you know why, Ludivine? As you've said before, not to use a primer is a crime. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Exactly because you did use apply the primer before. It does make a big difference when it comes to the different texture, different makeup products application after. So it does make wonders. Okay, great. So I think we, we don't have to apply more because it's going to be too much. You're going to look too yeah. beautiful. You already- I guess it's amazing. good like that. You know how I look? I look like a, an Instagram filter. Ah, yes, but there's no filter. <laughs> there's no filter, this, no this filter. is real. This is real. And I'm so happy guys that you are mentioning that it's good to uh, hear that men are taking care of their skin and using of serum course. and moisturizer. Uh, I'm using, it's, it's a must. Why just women? No, of course men, no. you know why? I am using the double serum and so proud of it and I will use it till the end of my life. <laughs> you know, I have a very, very uh, nice neighbor. He's around 60 and he came, he came to my house and said, hey, I've heard that you're a beauty expert and you know, my, I feel that my skin is very dry and, and, and it's scratching and etc. And it's a shame if I ask you which cream, which, found, uh, which, which products I should buy. And I said, come home, we're going to find one for you. And I was so happy to help him. And now he's wearing, he was, he's wearing products every day on his skin and of he feels course. better. He feels of better. We, there's a lot of uh, pollution in Paris and in the big cities. So we all, all over the world. All yes, the world. pollution, uh, UV. Uh, we have to protect our skin and it's the same for men and women. So guys, so the men, if you listen to us, use your, uh, your skincare product, okay? Yeah. Just go for the double serum, just like me. You're going to love it because it's not sticky, it's not oily, it's quick and easy. You apply your moisturizer right on the top and that's it. I have another question, you know, uh, which skincare product, you know, uh, for the 30s, when you reach 30 years old? So of course you can go for double serum first yeah. and then you go for the multi-active multi -active range. Multi-active range, it. it's the first, you know, step when it comes to the anti-aging, you know, products. So oh. double serum and multi-active day cream. Can I apply essential oil directly onto face or mix with toner or moisturizer? Oh, never apply uh, essential oil, pure essential <gasps> oil on the face, never. It's burning. It's burning. It's and burning. Avoid the eye contour. You always need to mix a very, you know, one to two drops of essential oil with your moisturizer. Never, never alone. Please, please, please. Okay, which step? Okay, what do we have to do now? Just the lips? Yes, the lips. 
just the lips and for the lips for summertime again as long as we don't like to wear something which is too thick too sticky too maybe too intense uh, i would like you to try the new um water lip stain exactly okay. i may confess that i always have even now a small amount of uh water lip stain i i can explain <laughs> i can explain my lips are the same color than my skin so i always have this kind of sick look i look sick because it's the same it's pale i don't want to do a tattoo because uh, I, i feel it's no. Um, I have a sensitive skin and sensitive, sensitive, my skin is sensitive in, uh, in my lips too. But this is a kind <laughs> of, uh, this is a kind of tattoo. When I, when I apply it in the morning, it stays, it, it's, it's long lasting. And then after I can add a lipstick or a gloss or, or whatever, a balm. And this is what I prefer. So now I guess it's been few, a few hours I'm wearing it so I can add it, but it's so natural. This is, I, f I, I think this is the, the base for my lips. It's yeah. like the primer of my lips. You exactly. Know? It's just like, you know, a, a primer for the lips. So can you go, you can, it comes in a brush. So you can just go directly with the brush, but I like, I take a little bit from the brush and I just dab, yeah. you know, onto the lips to get that very natural effect. And I also sometimes apply it with the blender. Mm. With the, the, do you call it blender? Yes the, blender, the blend, yes, the blending brush. Okay, and I just want to answer um, to the girl. Can someone in late 30s use extra firming moisturizer? I do. This yes, is my of favorite Yes, of course. Late 30s, you can go for extra firming. Yes. Of course, yes. So of this course. Is, this and is we how still, I'm using it. Oh. Yes, great. Excellent. And you just, it works amazingly well this way. I have a question. What is different between SOS primer number two and number three? As I told you before, the number two has pink reflectors and correctors. So the pink tone is to be used when you look a bit tired, a little bit dull, a bit tired, a little bit dull. So in that way, you need a touch of pink to freshen up the complexion. Now, if you're, you have a very, you know, a warm skin tone, just like Ludivine, and you just want to uh, boost the radiance luminosity, or just to make disappear optically, you know, some skin imperfections, small skin imperfections like a, a pimple, a small pigmentation, you use the peach. Uh, oh, the peach, yeah. Three. This number one. Three. Exactly. The number three, number three, not the peach. No, sorry, three. sorry. The peach Yeah, one. <laughs> this one, the one that is the most universal for me that the men can use. <laughs> I am using it. This is the number two. Yeah, uh, number two, yes, peach. And number one, which yeah. is the pink. And the yeah. three, and the three, which is the coral, the coral is a little bit more uh, apricot shade. It's more when you have you no know, pigmentations, you know, a little bit more intense or large uh, pigmentations. So the, the pitch, the apricot shade is going to reduce the intensity of your pigmentation marks. So that's the reason why, once again, you can apply it locally or, you know, where it's needed. I also use it, you know why? <laughs> Sometimes on the eye contour, because, you know, to make disappear, you know, the dark circles, when they look a little bit, you know, bluish or a little bit violet, dark. Uh, so this apricot shade, the orange shade, uh, does make disappear, you know, the darkness of the eye contour when you look a little bit tired. So exactly it's like, to... exactly like the green make the redness disappear, I... the apricot shade, make uh the dark circles or the the darkness the all darkness your face. so that's the reason why dark circles and the pigmentation just uh, definitely does reduce the intensity of the dark the darkness i hope it has been it was clear for you for for you stanis stanisi profem profumeri <laughs> okay so you did apply okay you yeah okay so now, I don't know if you want to go for it, but me, you know, especially for summertime, it's time for fun. We have to enjoy our life. We have, we need a little bit of glitters in our life. We need a little bit of shine. <laughs> I know, especially I know what you're today, thinking about. Especially today, you know, I was just, you know, l watching very, very quickly, you know, the Olympic Gates, you know, in Tokyo, and everybody's looking for happiness, for joy. 
and they were using you know beautiful fireworks with yeah. sparkles so i would like you to add a little bit of fireworks and sparkles on your lips are you talking about this one <laughs> I'm talking, talking about my favorite, about the you lip, know. The lip comfort oil, the, the, the golden one, oil. the honey glam, number seven. Number seven, honey glam. Yeah. It's totally transparent and transparent. You can use it by its own, you know, directly onto the lips. So once again, it's makeup made for skin. So it's going to nourish, repair, moisturize your skin. But at the same time, you're going to achieve a beautiful crystal effect it's very shiny just like a gloss but it's not sticky like a gloss uh, and it's going to plump up your lips and i love the gold glitters just to get especially during the the, the, the evening light the night light it looks beautiful it looks like a very discreet and subtle firework on your lips and this is what i'm in love with especially during summertime So just to finish, you know, uh, Ludivine, yeah. I, did, I did share with you, you know, a technique that I wanted you to experiment when it yeah, comes okay. to your eye makeup, to your eye makeup. Yeah, okay, so of course. Exactly. When it comes to your eye makeup, because I did send you, you know, the color quarter, the ombre quatre couleurs of yes, the I'm frozen, frozen summer collection. Oh, sorry. I forgot it there. Just no problem. No problem. You know, because guys, you have to know, I did send it because I wanted to share a technique with Ludivine. And I wanted Ludivine to share, you know, the technique with us. And I wanted to get her opinion. Because what I know, I know that most of the women, when they buy, you know, a color quad, so a ombre quatre couleur, some eyeshadows that comes in four shades or five shades, they are lost. They don't know which shade to use where. So I've, I've shared a technique with Ludivine and Ludivine explained us what was the technique and I would like to have your opinion. I would like okay. to share with us what did you do and why. I, I, only, applied the, the, I only applied it on my, on my eyes with my fingers. I didn't yeah. use any pencil at all. So I used the strongest, the, the darkest color at the, at the corner just here and, and I just blended it with my finger and as the, the texture is, is like not that dry, you know, it feels like it's a little bit not oily, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's so smooth that it's so easy to blend it with the finger. As you, as you can see, it, it looks like I did it with a pencil. So I used this color at the, at the extern, external co uh, corner, corner of my yeah, eye. The outer corner of the eye, yeah. Yeah, and then the second one I used is this, Um, I, 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 th I would, I would copper. call it like honey. It's called copper. I know this one, this one, no, no. It's more like, you know, a, a gold. A gold. It's, it's I, a use, warm, I use warm gold, gold as the second one, just right here. So I did the pink one here, the gold here. Then I used yeah. this one here. And then at, at the inner corner here, I, I used the, the lighter shade. In right the inner here corner. and just right here, like exactly under so, under my my brow. So the technique, because I've asked uh, you know Ludivine just to apply very very quickly with the finger. So the last the, the lightest shade in the inner corner, the medium shade right after. So the lightest dark shade, okay, yeah. just on the three quarter, and the darker shade on the outer corner. Exactly. And then I've asked you to blend the two dark shades on one, you know, from the outer corner to inwards, yeah. and the two lightest inward. Exactly. And what do you think about the technique? Is it easy? Is it fun? It's, Is it it's, quick? It's really easy. And it's, it's very easy because the shades are not that, that dark, you know? Uh, no. It's, it's, it's yeah. very light. So there's no reason to have an accident when you do your makeup this way. It's very easy to use it. And I really do prefer Uh, to use the, the, um, uh, uh, attends, je vais trouver mes mots, um, <laughs> eyeshadows. I, 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 I really do prefer to use the eyeshadows with my fingers than with the, these little pencils that we still have. Oh, uh, yes, in, the sponge uh, applicator. The <laughs> yeah, yes, the, the little sponge I, applicator. I don't understand why it still exists because it's right to my trash when I open a box. I uh, do go, prefer go to use fin the finger. Go with your fingers, guys. You can go with your fingers or with your brushes. It's up to you. But honestly, when you have, you know, four shades, do remember 
take the two lightest shades, okay, in the inner corner. So the lightest here and the second one there. And the two darker, so the darker here on the outer corner and the medium one here. And you blend the two dark cursed from inward to from inward and the two lighters from inward. That's it and it's done. And, and then the as final... you can see I added I added a little bit pencil because I love I love it. Uh, the liner, the the brown one. That that I, the waterproof still... liner. The waterproof yeah. liner. The waterproof yeah. liner is amazing, but you have to blend it very, very fast when using it because then when it's dry, it's not moving at all. <laughs> so yeah. you have and to... of course, because you are crazy about lashes, I think you did finish with one of my favorite products, which is yes. the <laughs> Mascara Supra Lift and Curl. Okay, I will tell you more later about, you know, that mascara, you know, guys. It's because crazy. Because I am really in love with, so I love the brush. Oh, by the way, okay, you don't have to take care about the brush size or side, okay? You can go and directly apply. So if you go for a more sophisticated look, there's a way definitely to use that brush. You have this flat part that just to apply the maximum of texture first. So you play this way and after you take the round with the long hair here on the other side to really curl and um, style. make the lashes longer. You can, yeah, you, you can definitely style, style your lashes so, with it. Ludivine, can you show yep. us, because they want to see a little bit more, can you show us all the different primers that we were using before applying the Skin Perfecta, the yeah, Milky Boost? And by the way, guys, we're going to write down all the products that we have introduced. So here, this is the Instant Smooth for Lines. Instant poreless for open pores and mattifying. That two amazing primers with plant extracts, makeup made for skin. Then we have the SOS primer family. And into the SOS primer family, we have the double zero for the double zero, the, the white one to, for extra glow and radiance. We have the pink for, uh, to get rid of tiredness, to, get, uh, to achieve a fresh look. We have the number two, which is speech to minimize skin imperfection. So good for men too, because it's not iridescent. And after we have specific one, we have number four, the green for the redness, uh, as long as you're concerned about redness. So, and right after we were using what we're calling the skin perfectors, they're not foundation, but they're much more natural and light lightweight. It's very easy to use. So uh, Ludivine was using the Milky Boost number five, or you can go for something a little bit more creamy. If you want to have a 5 in one you know, product, you can also use it by its own. If you don't concern about the aging process, you can use the Milky Cream. So thank you so much, Ludivine. I hope thank that you, you enjoyed this slide as much yes, as I did. I loved it. Thank you so I, much. I think we have shared a lot of you know, our tips and yes. guidelines. So I hope, guys, that you enjoy it too. So thank you so much for being with us, as always. We love you, Ludivine. Please enjoy your vacation. Enjoy your holidays. <laughs> I'll come visiting you. You know it. <laughs> yes, you come. Yes, you come and visit me. You know, I'm, yeah. yes, I will be on vacation on holidays very, very soon. Uh, so guys, enjoy your holidays. Have fun. Do not forget. Not to use a primer is a crime. Ludivine said that. Not to prime is a crime. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Have a good I evening. Love that. Thank you. Have a great Bye. evening. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Ludivine. See you in your TV show. Thank you.